Well, this weekend marks what would have been the end of World Dairy Expo in Madison. Instead, the organizers are focused on hosting a safe event in 2021. That being said, there still are opportunities to network and connect. Just because there's not a physical event, that excitement certainly hasn't gone away. Yeah, I think it's alive and well. Uh, we felt it all last week as we felt uh, for the week of Expo that isn't this week. Uh, but a lot of energy uh, certainly out in the dairy industry and we're seeing that online and so we're happy uh, to, uh, to move this week forward and certainly begin to have an eye on next year as well. I know the relationships are such a critical component. It's the people, whether they're making sales in the barn, whether they're eyeing up an animal that's being showcased or meeting with some, some new innovative processors. How are you guys continuing to make sure those connections are happening? The relationships are World Dairy Expo, period. Make, make no mistake about that. Uh, we have a great cattle show. We have a great trade show. We have an educational platform, but it's the relationships that uh, uh, happen and are cemented throughout the week of Expo uh, that make World Dairy Expo so unique. Having said that, uh, this year we're bringing alternative opportunities uh, forward. Uh, so some areas that I would touch on briefly, we have pavil pavilion promotions, which is an opportunity for our dairy cattle exhibitors to engage uh, with stakeholders online through the World Dairy Expo website to share uh, their genetics aspects of their farm and dairy enterprises uh, for the global viewing audience. We have Innovation Unveiled, which is a similar concept uh, for our commercial exhibitors, which allows them an opportunity to uh, to bring forward their latest innovations and technologies to global dairy enthusiasts. And we certainly are supporting some initiatives this week, whether it's the World Forage Analysis Super Bowl, which is a critical component of the World Dairy Expo experience, whether it's the Global Dairy Tech Startup, uh, which will, an event will be happening this week. We're engaging with our stakeholders and dairy industry enthusiasts from around the world to bring the best that we can uh, to the 2020 Expo experience. When it comes to the cows themselves, the show aspect, is there any sort of champion that is going to be named? How are people navigating that aspect of Expo? Well, there's a lot of alternatives out there in the, in the cyberspace, if you will, in the dairy industry. But as it relates to World Dairy Expo, we're going to be highlighting some of our past champions and favorites through the decades. And I think that's going to be a great walk down memory lane, but we're not attempting to recreate that space this year. People wanted to know what color the wood chips would have been. Is that a top secret question? You know what? The color can be any color they want them to be. Uh, you know, we've, we've uh, heard suggestions anywhere from black to green to blue and everywhere in between. Unfortunately, the shavings color is always a secret until the week of the event, and, uh, and that holds true again this year. Looking forward to next year, you're working to plan a safe in-person event, and that really is the critical word, safe. And, and that's why we are looking at things in a virtual capacity this year. I think that's exactly right. I'm so pleased that the leadership of World Dairy Expo made the decision the 1st of June to cancel the 2020 World Dairy Expo, but also not attempt to have a virtual World Dairy Expo. We're doing some things socially uh, to stay connected with our enthusiasts, but we're really looking forward to 2021. And we know that for all large public gatherings and ag uh, exhibitions, we're gonna have to do so in a safe and respectful manner for our attendees and all of our exhibitors. And folks should tap into what you've put on your, your website and they should support your team through purchase of merchandise as well, because you do have some great merch that's still for sale. We absolutely do. We're rolling out the Purple Cow gift shop online for the first time ever. It's been a big hit since it opened up last month. And we'll have specials and promotions throughout this week, but also on and off throughout the fall. So it's a great opportunity to come to the WorldDairyExpo.com website and see all the initiatives for yourself. If I'm missing that grilled cheese or that milkshake, do you have any suggestions, a way to fill that void? Virtually. Make one at home, drink it at home, enjoy it at home. Absolutely.